Alright, hello again. Um, it's gonna be my time now. I just finished doing that tutorial. Um, on that. So, now we're just gonna get on the ICs. So, to create an IC, you do not have to type that in on the top line. All you do is type the second line in, put a lever on the back of the block, and there you have it. Now, this IC is MC0020. Um, what this does is it makes the random output of energy. I don't really know what you could use this for. It's just nice, I guess. And this is a receiver. Um, if I were to take, make a sign um, like this, um, you know what? I'll just go down here really quick. And it's I don't know. Um, see, there's a uh, receiver. There's a I forget what it's a transmitter, teach receiver. So this is test area. So if I activate this and hop all the way back here, you can see that power is going out the back of this. So then if I just hop back here and turn the receiver off, the power back there will turn off. Oopsies. One. There we go. So basically, all you have to do to make one of these is the receiver um, IC is MC0111, and the trans, I mean, the re then the transmitter which sends the signal is MC1110. And then each sign for the transmitter and receiver you're trying to link just has to have the name of the link you want. In this case, I put test area. Um, for the transmitter and receiver name. So this is a it is day thing. It checks to see whether it's day or night. So if I do time night, you can see that this turns off. If I do it time day, this will turn back on again. Um, so this is a water. I'll just clear my infant. But I'll just get one water block then one lava block for a second so if I put this right there you'll notice that it activates that so just get, just get two of these so then this one is a lava sensor which is the same as this but it reacts to lava now the second line I mean the third line of both of these the one and the one that's the radius of how the area that it will detect lava or water in Right now I have it set to 1, so it's just going to detect whether it's on top of the block or not, which isn't that big. So this is a light sensor. Um, now if I were to take a cobblestone block, and just since it's set to 1, it's just detecting the top area of the block, then it'll turn that off. So that I remove it, it'll turn it back on. Just detecting the light that's on block, and if the block is. Oopsies. Um, this is a block center. It's detecting a cobblestone block two blocks ahead. So this is one, then this block is two. Uh, so it's right there. Um, uh, so it just sees if you have the specified block. This is how many blocks above the uh, detector block that this will be have to be placed. So um, then the last line is the number, the ID of the block you want to detect. Then this is a power sensor that ah excuse me just eight the stomach issues. Oh, um, this is a power sensor. I'll just take. Um, yeah, one torch and one. I think it's three, three, one. There we go. Just, I hate typing the name and typing the name names. So as you can see, that's the output right there. Um, we have stat skills on our server. Um, MCMO. So you see that stats the output right there it has a lever right under there. Um, so let's say if I put this torch right here, it's emitting the power and the blocks around it. So that counts as well. Um, so this 
if that powered thing, powered redstone, is there also, the torch isn't there, it would still work. But since this torch only does the four areas around it, not the corners, you'll be able to notice that if I put it there, it does not emit power on this block. So it doesn't protect. Uh, it's raining. Damn it. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. Just a quick recap. Um. Well, this isn't really a tutorial. It's just an explanation. Uh, this is an IC. Um, uh, this is a random bit. It just emits random power. Um, this is a test area, a receiver which is linked to a transmitter, as shown before. Now, if the power, if the transmitter is receiving power, it'll send the power to this and emit it out here. Um, it's day. It just checks to see if it's day, and if it's day, it'll emit power out, and if it's night, it will not. This is just a water detector. Water detector. If it has water near it, depending on how big the radius it is, it'll emit power or not. If it, if it has water detected, it'll emit power. Same here, except just with lava. And this is a light sensor. If there's light on top of it, um, it'll emit power. If there isn't, it won't. Um, just depending on how big the radius is again. Um, this is a block sensor. If the specified block is placed within how many uh, blocks high above the texture block, in this case two, in this case four, which is cobblestone, then it will emit current if the block is detected. And this is a power sensor. If power is detected, it will um, uh, emit current out the detector end. So that's pretty simple for this episode. I this tutorial episode whatever. Um, we have quite a few left to go, as you can see. <laughs> um, So, I guess that's it for this. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll be adding more shortly. Um, so, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Come and play on my server. It's very nice. We have lots of plugins. <laughs> Our website is mitchellcraft.net. It'll be linked in the description below. Thanks again.